Today marks a significant milestone in the Hall County School District's commitment to providing the best education for the children in our community. This elementary school will not only be a place of learning, but also a hub of inspiration, innovation, and growth for generations to come. I've had the honor of calling Oakwood and McEver Elementary School home during my professional career. I have witnessed firsthand both schools' dedication to academics, character education, and willingness to serve others. The thought of being a part of the first fifth grade students to walk the halls as we leave elementary school is so exciting too. In conclusion, McGavar will be closing and that makes me a little sad but we have a brand new school getting ready for us and that is going to be great. I love McGavar but I think I'm going to love our new school even more. I'm excited about the new building. My dad showed me some pictures of Sandra Dale Elementary, and I think everyone will have a great, great time at this school. We definitely will not have to worry about all the old toilets at Oakwood. <laughs> all of this to say, I am pumped to have McGever students join us on this amazing new educational adventure. Thank you. Uh. We were talking earlier, it's amazing at the job that they do constructing the school. What this property looked like, what it looks like now, and what it will look like when the school is actually built. Uh, it, the transformation is just amazing. Uh, and I, I've said it once before, they build great buildings and they are beautiful to look at, but they become a school when the students arrive and the teachers arrive and you walk through the building and hear the sounds uh, of the school. Uh, that is truly what, what makes it a, a home for these students. This is my new friend, Camilla. And boys and girls, what I want you to do is look at the adults behind you. And look at the adults in front of you in the crowd. And I want you to never forget this day because you live in a community. You live in Hall County where, where grown folks, whether they're teachers or, or whether they're stay-at-home dads or whether they're dentists or whether they drive trucks, that care a great deal about the next generation. They care, and I'm one of them, about you. They care so much that they open up their wallets and they pay taxes and they make things possible like brand new school buildings for you to go to school in. And I want you to never forget, regardless of what anybody tells you, that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You're perfect just the way, they are, the way that you are. Nothing will ever change that and that your community loves you. Will you give these grown folks a, a round of applause, please, children? You know, something that we've lost in our culture over the years, and maybe we can bring it back, is that when big things happened in the past, we used to say a blessing over things. And a blessing was simply a call out to the creator of the universe to say, whatever happens on this property, whatever happens with this project, whatever happens with this beautiful young man, always hold him close and make sure wonderful things happen. And so if I can, I'm gonna, and I can because I'm here, I, I'm gonna ask a blessing over everything that ever happens on this school campus. You will be the first students to attend this school, but you won't be the last. Think about this, thousands and thousands of students will walk through these doors and you'll be the first. So I wanna ask this blessing upon you and upon the students who follow you, and I know you'll set an incredible example. So to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly more than we ever hoped, dreamed, or imagined, I pray, Lord, that you would bless these children and the adults that work in this school, the community members that come alongside them. I pray that you'd make your face shine upon them and be gracious unto them. I pray you'd lift every one of these young people up. Help them fulfill the dreams that you have for each and every one of them. And Lord, I thank you for this day that we can break ground on this new elementary school. Thank you for these young people. Amen.